Today's video might actually be one of my more favorite videos I do about local SIM cards because this is the information you cannot find anywhere or at least not in English. Let's just do a quick test. Let's say you go to Google and you search SIM card Afghanistan or buy SIM card Afghanistan. You will get results that are only talking about international SIM cards which are super expensive, especially the ones recommended on the screen. In most cases you will also see my article down there. Make sure to read it as well, phonetourist.com slash Afghanistan dash guy. And if you're watching this video while you're already on this guy, then well, you don't have to do it again. So why is it so difficult to find information about SIM cards in Afghanistan? And how was I able to find all this information? Well, I will tell you all about that in this video, which might be the hidden gem about SIM cards in Afghanistan. So let's just get started, shall we? Hi, it's Odu from Phonetourist here. And today we will be talking about SIM cards in Afghanistan. As mentioned in the intro, it's quite difficult to find information about yeah, SIM cards in Afghanistan. I don't know why, why that's the case. Well, I have some ideas, but that's not relevant for now. So I decided to, well, let me just make a guide for myself, for people who are planning on going to Afghanistan. Even if you have managed to find a video about SIM cards in Afghanistan, it might have outdated information. I managed to find some articles dating back from 2003, but most of these operators were not even <laughs> operating at all. So it's either inaccurate information, outdated information, or no information at all. So what did I do in order to find this information? Information. I contacted my friends, some of them who are still living in Afghanistan, some of them who went to Afghanistan in the past one, two, three years, then came back who bought some SIM cards and just finding some information of the sites of the operators themselves. And based on that, I was able to write my guide, uh, the, the actual guide, so photos.com slash Afghanistan that guide. And now I'm also able to make this video, which shouldn't be available anywhere, maybe later, but not when I'm recording this video. So. Let's just get started. We have five different operators in Afghanistan. We have Hosan, MTN Afghanistan, Etislat Afghanistan, Afghan Wireless, and Salam by Afghanistan Telecom. Five different options. You may be wondering which one should I choose? Which one is the best? Which one is the worst? Which one should I stay away from? Well, we're not. All of that will be covered in this video. But if you're wondering, well, could I get a list of all the best SIM cards in places all over the world? Well, you're lucky because I have an Excel sheet with the best local SIM cards in over 230 destinations. If you sign up for my newsletter, phonetourist.com slash newsletter, I will send you this Excel sheet for free right to your mailbox. And this Excel sheet, it contains all the destinations. I'll tell you which operator is the best, why they are the best, how much a SIM card costs, and how much it costs to get uh, a data package with at least one gigabyte of data that will last you for seven days. And the best thing of all is I update this every month. So every month I will send you an update email and then you get up to date information or close to up to date. So send it for the newsletter, phonetourist.com slash newsletter and get this Excel sheet for you. Now let's start with telecom providers in Afghanistan. Let's start with Hosan because Hosan is the largest operator in Afghanistan right now covering 60% of the population and also having good coverage with the 4G LTE network throughout the country, especially in the north east or well, in your case northeast i think <laughs> and just in general a sim card should cost you about 300 afn maybe a little bit more because well you're traveler so they want to charge you a bit more but in general it should not cost you more than 200 afn which is about four um usd you may have read articles saying that the sim card will cost you 300 us dollars which used to be the case a few years ago but right now it's you know reasonable prices and these prices are available for all the operators i will be referring to in this video so Hosan has two different SIM cards. One is called Ali and the other one is called Yaran, if pronounced correctly. The Ali one, that's available for everybody, whereas the Yaran one is mainly focused on the youth. And I'm not really sure if you're old that you can get the SIM card, because some operators, let's say um, Elisa in um, Estonia, they also have a youth focused SIM card, but old people could get it as well if they want to. Oh, sorry, I say old people, but people who are not part of the youth anymore, they could get it as well. And maybe that applies with Rosan as well. With the Rosan Ali, you have two, no, three short-term plans which you can add, which are 15 AFN, unlimited data for one hour, 30 AFN, 200 megabytes for one day, and 75 AFN, 512 megabytes or 0 0.5 gigabytes for one week. Let's say you need data for much longer than these short term ones, then you have these long term plans. 250 AFN, one gigabyte of data and 200 megabytes for Facebook. 
250 AFN, 2 gigabytes of data, 450 AFN, 3.5 gigabytes and 200 megabytes for Facebook, 600 AFN, 500 gigabytes and 500 megabytes for Facebook, 800 AFN, 7 gigabytes and 700 megabytes for Facebook, 1100 AFN, 10 gigabytes of data, 1500 AFN, 15 gigabytes of data, and 1500 AFN, you get 30 gigabytes of data, but you can only use one gigabyte of data per day. So now let's talk about MTN Afghanistan. They are also a large operator with more than 6 million subscribers. Earlier I said that Rosan is the largest operator. That might have been a mistake because it's not really sure who is the largest operator because there are multiple operators that have like 5, 6 million subscribers. And yeah, it changes all the time because more Afghans are getting SIM cards. So sometimes it might be Rosan, the other day it might be MTN, the other day, well not the other day, but the other quarter it might be MTN and so forth. So yeah, it doesn't really matter who is the big. What matters is the coverage and speed you get with this operator. So, MTN Afghanistan. MTN Afghanistan has actually more towers compared to Wosan in the north and northeast of Afghanistan. So if you are going to those areas, then you might want to consider MTN Afghanistan. But Wosan is also okay, but they just have less towers there. So your coverage will not be as good compared to um, MTN Afghanistan. MTN has a few data bundles, which are 15 AFN, 1200 megabytes, which is actually classed as unlimited, but you get 1200 megabytes for one hour, 15 AFN, 85 megabytes for 24 hours, 90 AFN, 425 megabytes for one week, 200 AFN, 870 megabytes for one month, uh, 400 AFN, 2.1 gigabyte of data for one month, 500 AFN, 4 gigabyte of data for one month, 725 AFN, 7.3 gigabytes of data for one month, and 1400 AFN. 12.7 uh, gigabyte of data for one month. That's MTN. Let's talk about ATSLAT Afghanistan. With ATSLAT, the subscriber numbers are not available. The last one was about 5.789, maybe so out six already. So it might be bigger than MTN, it might not be bigger, but it changes quite quickly here in Afghanistan. ATSLAT covers 30 of the 34 and provinces in Afghanistan, so you should have good coverage with ATSLAT. And there are more than 12,000 outlets to buy an ATSLAT SIM card, so they are quite widely available. The others, they also have many outlets, but they don't really state how many outlets they have to other country, whereas ATSLAT does, so that's why I mention it right now. ATSLAT has three types of SIM cards, which, well, I cannot pronounce, so they are shown on the screen. If you're gonna get a data package, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but there are different rates for calls and SMS and standard page you go data depending on the SIM card you choose but it doesn't matter which one you choose if you get a data package they have many types of combo plans and data only plans so let's just go to them all you have the ATSLAT Mukamal and combo plans which come with data and a lot of on that minutes and these are your options 20 AFN 100 megabytes and 50 minutes for one day and the minutes are on that minutes 45 AFN 500 megabytes and 100 minutes for one day 200, just 200 AFN, 500 megabytes and 1500 minutes and 500 SMS for 30 days. 450 AFN, 2 gigabytes of data, 2000 minutes and 2000 SMS for 30 days. 500 AFN, 3 gigabytes of data, 500 minutes and 500 SMS. And 800 AFN, 6 gigabytes of data, 1000 minutes and 1000 SMS for 30 days. Days. Now let's see. you only need data, then you have these options. 40 AFN, 25 megabytes for one day, 150 AFN, 125 megabytes for one week, 350 AFN, 500 megabytes for one month, 850 AFN, 2 gigabytes for one month, 1400 AFN, 4 gigabytes of data for one month, and 3500 AFN, 20 gigabytes of data for one month. You also have these short-term packages. 0.5 AFN, 20 megabytes for one hour and 5 AFN 200 megabytes for one hour but if you need data for a full day you can get 50 megabytes for 5 AFN and for 50 AFN you can get one gigabyte of data do you need a weekly plan then for 45 AFN you can get 200 megabytes for a week and for 150 AFN you get 1.5 gigabytes of data then there are other data packs which will last you for a full month 100 AFN 3 gigabytes of data which is only um, at night between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. 250 AFN 1 gigabyte of data for a full month 300 AFN 1.5 gigabytes 450 AFN 3 gigabytes 500 AFN 4 gigabytes 600 AFN 5 gigabytes 800 AFN 7 gigabytes 1000 AFN uh, 10 gigabytes and 1500 
uh, AFN 20 gigabytes where of 50 gigabytes of size speed data, then turtle to 265 kilobytes for the remaining uh, 5 gigabytes of data. So that was ATC LUT. Now we have Afghan Wireless. Afghan Wireless was actually the incumbent operator of Afghanistan, so they were the first one to start. Well, they are not as popular compared to the other three because they have 600, 6 million, 6 million, 5 million, but they're still a big operator in the country. But the issue is that the 5 million subscribers also counts broadband subscribers so the question is how many more subscribers they have so yeah not sure why they do it but yeah well that's <laughs> that's just the case african wireless was actually the first operator to launch 4g lte in the country so they were actually the pioneer so yeah that was quite cool and let's say if you decide to roam with your provider in afghanistan you will most likely roam with afghan wireless because they have the most and roaming agreements with operators in the most countries around the world that's just a small thing you should know Coverage wise, you will find the most towers in the north and east, which, well, that's where most people live, so that's why most operators have the most uh, towers there. But if you go into the southeastern part of the country, then Afghan wireless might be a good option because they have the most towers there, meaning that they have the best coverage in the southeastern part of Afghanistan, if you're planning on going there. You have the Kakashan combo plans, which are monthly combo plans, and they come in these three variants. 200 AFN, 1 GB of data, and 30 on that minutes, and 200 SMS. 250 AFN, 1.5 GB of data, 60 on that minutes, and 500 SMS. And 500 AFN, 3 GB of data, 120 on that minutes, and 1000 SMS. And be aware that 50% of your um, data allowance is reserved for 910 data. So let's say there was a plan that was like 3 GB of data, that you can only use 1.5 GB of data during the day and order 1.5 gigabyte of data at night and night time is defined between 12 a.m and 7 a.m yeah 7 a.m in the morning not really a fan of this plan because if i want a data plan i want to be able to use my data whenever i want but hey that's the case with these uh, plans what we know there are also data packages available that do not have these restrictions let's start with the daily plans 10 afn 60 megabytes 30 afn 200 megabytes and 45 afn 1 gigabyte of data if you need a weekly data pack you can get one for 100 afn it comes with 500 megabytes 125 afn 1 gigabyte of data and you also have monthly data packs 250 afn 2.5 gigabyte of data 400 afn 4.5 gigabytes of data 600 AFN 7.5 gigabytes of data, 800 AFN 9.375 9 gigabytes of data, 1100 AFN 15 gigabytes of data, 1800 AFN 20 gigabytes of data, and 2700 AFN 30 gigabytes of data, and 2700 AFN 30 gigabytes of data. If you use Facebook a lot, then you have these Facebook plans 2 AFN 35 megabytes for Facebook. 15 AFN 140 megabytes for Facebook and 40 AFN 250 megabytes for Facebook. If you're active during the night, then you can take advantage of these night plans. 25 AFN 500 megabytes for one night, 75 AFN 1.5 gigabytes of data for seven days, and 200 AFN 4 gigabytes of data for 30 days. We are nearing the end with Salam Telecom, which is the last operator for this list. Afghan Telecom with the mobile brand Salam is the smallest operator here in Afghanistan and they also have the worst coverage. They have two monthly combo plans, which are 500 AFN, 1 GB of data, 1000 on net minutes and 50 off net minutes and unlimited SMS, 1000 AFN, 30 GB of data, 3000 on net minutes and unlimited SMS. If you only need data, then you have these five options. 35 AFN 215 megabytes for two weeks, 115 AFN, one gigabyte of data for one month, 230 AFN, three gigabytes of data for one month, 345 AFN, five gigabytes of data for one month, and 520 AFN, 10 gigabytes of data for one month. If you're active during the night, then you can take advantage of these night packs. 50 AFN, one gigabyte of data for seven days, 90 AFN, two gigabyte of data for 30 days, 200 AFN, five gigabyte of data for 30 days, and 250 AFN, 10 gigabytes of data for 30 days. And the nighttime data can be used between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning. So now it's time to determine which operator is the best, which Afghan operator is the best. But before we do so, please subscribe to this channel. I do this type of SIM card guides all the time, but I also do SIM card reviews and do all the stuff related to traveling with your phone. And it takes some time to find all this information, especially the Afghanistan one. That one took much longer than most of my other guides, but at least you get these secrets for you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click the, click the like button as well if this video is informational so far. So now it's time to determine which operator is the best. If you want to buy an Afghan SIM card, I would mainly recommend Rosa. 
and that's because they have the best coverage throughout the country. Of course, in some parts of the country, it might not have as many uh, towers compared to other operators like MTN and ATSLA, but in overall, Rosen has the best coverage. Speedwise, Rosen, ATSLA and MTN, they are doing quite well together, so that's not really one that's super best, well, super best, that is uh, much better than others. Of course, if you go to certain places where there are more towers of one operator, then one will be better than the other, but that's just the case. And of course, 4G LTE has to be available as well. But you could also consider ATC Latin MTN, those are also good options. But I would probably myself go with Rosan. But of course, if I go to Afghanistan, which won't be anytime soon, but when I go, I will try all the SIM cards out and then find out myself which one is the fastest when staying in probably Kabul. I will most likely go to Kabul. But yeah, that's SIM cards in Afghanistan. So if you found this video informational, make sure to click the like button and comment down below which SIM card you will try when you go to Afghanistan. If you already live in Afghanistan, let us know which SIM card you use and if it's any good. If it's not good, and the other SIM cards you have tried, if you have tried others. Make sure to check out the guide, the written guide as well. If you go to phonetravers.com slash Afghanistan dash guide. And when you're at the site, make sure to read my other articles. I have local SIM card guides for all places over the world, Middle East, Asia, Europe, Americas, Oceania, all of the world. I also talk about international SIM cards, mobile hotspots, and roaming which profile because it doesn't always have to be super expensive. That's it for today, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.